racingsuperscom.com, Carlos Rally. I'm here with Paul from Death to All, Death at this point. Um, you're back, uh, Death to All Incarnation, or is it number one? I think it's been called. Right now, um, aside from last year uh, and this year coming back with more dates, your 13 dates right now, um, you're doing for this tour. So basically, if you can explain the fans what is this whole idea of death coming back with the death to all concept and, and, and tribute tour, if you will? Um, basically that, it's a tribute to uh, Chuck's legacy, you know, and to his music and uh, an opportunity to give back to this organization that helped him and helps musicians that don't have enough money for health insurance called Sweet Relief. So, and, um, you know, kind of an unexpected twist of events, I think, for all the musicians that played with him because we never planned on being here. So it was, it's, uh, it's uh, one of those parts of the journey of being a musician that uh, you can't ever expect to happen, but you, you do it and it's, and it's always worth it when it happens, it seems at least, because we're having fun. Coming back, playing all these songs, how's it feel to be just back on stage, jamming those, uh, at this point it could be legendary songs, if you will. Feels fun, it's, uh, you know, surprisingly it doesn't feel dated, you know, which is something that I would be concerned with. It feels like still kind of fresh to re, to do it now, and um, um, I, I think we're having a good time, you know, we're just kind of going with it and just re, it's like, I think with the live experience, you kind of start over with every show, so it almost becomes like, it's a new song, you know, um, and we've got Max playing and singing, uh, doing the Chuck stuff, and he's got some fresh young blood that he's injecting into it, so it's definitely kind of been freshened up, you know, in a sense, it feels, it has a sense of urgency that it had back in the day. How did the process work out of choosing Max as the vocalist for this tribute tour? I mean, anybody, anybody else besides Max was on the list? Uh, who, who else do you, that you know of that you can tell us? Yeah, well, on the last tour, we had Charles Elliott from Abysmal Dawn and, and Matt Harvey. And um, I think that I'm not sure what happened in the details in terms of reaching out to them first because they were part of the first one. But uh, I, Max always had my vote just because I know what kind of musician he is and, uh, and I think he's got the voice. You know, he actually sounds probably closest to Chuck than most of the people that we've had try and do it. Um, even other people that I've seen that tried to audition and stuff, it's um, Max just kind of is, he just has that tone, you know. So it's, um, it's you know and I play with them in my own group so of course there's a bar, little bias going on there but uh, <laughs> he's a great guy he's easy to be on the road with um, the other guys were awesome too but uh, it's um, I think Max is definitely ready for something like this and he's doing a great job last night was their first show and he he delivered totally as far as like you know doing this tour and Chuck's memory death legacy and you can you hear all these terms all the time of course when you're doing this type of tour which is very unique of course a tribute tour not too many you know that I can recall if any yeah. uh, before this one this same way but you know you have a popular and beloved figure heavy metal figure of course a, a individual as well his family of course um, what basically do you think this tour means to that remembrance factor uh, of this music figure and influence of death. I mean, uh, aside from just tribute, what else do you think? Is it, you think you're exposing fans to this true original death metal form? Uh, new fans are coming to enjoy the show for the first time, which I'm sure is happening. Yeah. I mean, how else do you see well, this tribute? I think it's a combination playing? of the old school fans that saw us back in the day or, or fans from back in the day that uh, get to relive that memory in a sense and what the records represented to them um, that grew up with, the, with these albums and then you have the next generation fan which is really a large portion of these audiences which is the 20 somethings that are too young when death was around um, that are get to kind of experience it to some degree with some of the original guys and and get to kind of it's it's good for them because they would have never had this opportunity otherwise so they're and it's not really a cover band other than that. It is, but you know, obviously it's missing Chuck, but it's as close as you're gonna get. So yeah. it's, it's a good opportunity for somebody who, who wasn't, you know, was too young back then, but gets to kind of 
peek in and go, oh, I kind of get the vibe of what it was like, you know. It, I feel like it's better now in some ways. I mean, Chuck, of obviously, my, mine is Chuck. It's never going to be the same. But there's something like, you know, in terms of how seasoned we are as players that we're bringing to it that we didn't have back then. I mean, that was our first record in our first tour <laughs> when we were, like, 19. So <laughs> we're in a different place now. So there's a different degree of confidence, I think, that comes now having done it. But of course it's never going to be the same without chuck you know but it's as close as you're going to get <laughs> and for people seeing the show the first time yeah you're going to get more than just a tribute band if you will i mean you guys were there you were part of dev yeah you're still part of Dev. you're part of that history and that legacy as well so it's it's yeah. nice to see that like you're going to see yeah and the yeah. musicianship like you said has grown has evolved you know more progressive in the sense of like you're better you know better musicians now yeah. so you have that to consider as well and to add to the mix mm -hmm. which makes it a awesome tribute band without being a tribute band if you know what i mean like right. I, I think whoever calls it a tribute band is missing the point it's a tribute tour but yeah but you right. guys you know are still death and so many even the the you know last year's tours lineup this year mm -hmm. you have members and then of course we'll talk about future plans as well because i think there's another lineup being discussed out there uh at the same time for last since you're here and uh like we were talking before uh, you're a very busy musician, of course. You've been doing a lot of stuff. I mean, Cynic going on. I mean, I know the last re release was 2011. Uh, anything coming out? Anything planned? Yeah. What's up with that? With the band? Any other side projects? And you also, like I said, you were writing for TV, movies, and all that. What's going on? Well, Cynic side, we're mixing a record right now, a new okay. album, and it's going to come out. I hear in October. Okay. That's what the label told us. Um, what label? The Season of Mist. Okay, Season of Mist. Okay, yeah. Perfect. And uh, I don't know when we'll be touring for it, but maybe a little bit towards the end of the year. We'll see. But we're very excited about the record and um, excited to get it out there. It's it's um, it's just nice to keep the music flowing on that side of yeah, things too. Um, and you know, just live in we Sean and I live in Los Angeles, and we wear a lot of hats as musicians. So. We're doing a lot of different things from video game stuff to television to uh, short films yeah. <laughs> to commercials to and trailers. Now you're doing video games, yeah. That's yeah, really good. I just okay. did a, a trailer for um, this game called Tank. Okay. That was just just like a few weeks ago. That was fun. But we're trying to get more into that because I think the video game scene seems fun. Like it's more liberated in terms of the composing. Yeah. You can kind of do more wacky stuff and not be so regulated to like a sitcom or something. But but nothing beats television in terms of uh, the money, you yeah, know. Absolutely. And that's why all musicians go into it because the bread's good, you know. And it's uh, other than that, you know, in terms of as a musician, it's like you're touring or you're hopefully making a living as a composer. So it's one or the other because records aren't really pulling in the dough anymore, you know. How is LA treating you? LA is great. I like it over there. Yeah, I like it. It's miss um, Miami at all? <laughs> not really. I grew up there. You know, my family's there, so I miss my my folks. But um, LA is a big, deep city, and I feel like it's evolved. It keeps evolving. I don't quite. I can't get a hold of it. You know, it's <laughs> and that's why I like it because it's 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 big and and it uh, it feels different depending on where you're at in your life and where you where you live so it takes on a lot it's kind of like a flat in new york in a way it just kind of has everything but it's it's um it's very concentrated and there's kind of a there's everything there and it's great for mus musicians and artists because there's just a lot of work you know it's kind of the heart of the entertainment industry so it's one of those cities where if you're working if you're a musician it's normal you know it's not like oh you know and i know i remember in miami it wasn't it's like how do you do that but um or you're, or you're doing Latin or rap music, and yeah. you know, it's like a very niche kind or of... Or you go to Tampa, you do death metal all the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but Miami's groovy, you know. I definitely feel like it's come a long way since we were kids. And, um, but yeah, you know, I was, I was ready for something new. I'm ready for something new now. I'm always ex interested in moving, but LA's kind of got me, got me by the balls because <laughs> of work, you know. <laughs> and the weather's perfect, and... It's nice. It's a nice place to live. We're in the middle of the blizzard over here, so yeah. I hope you're not freaking out. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs>